Okay, so now let's play maybe something else. Let's play Taras Defense. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Jack. Yeah, I also like this kind of checkmate, right? If if you attack your opponent's king in in this in in the end game. Okay, so after three games, we've got a one and a half to one and a half, and now I just play Tarash defense. Uh, yeah, okay, I will I will try to I will try to focus, uh, <laughs> and you can see that we play reversed uh, Slav defense. Now I play I play black. So, but my idea still remains the same. I want to play e5. Good evening, Karmar. Okay, bishop d3. Okay, I will just go here. I would like to play e5. This is my idea. Yeah, this is exactly that position. This is exactly the same position that can happen from, uh, from the Slav defense. Reverse colors, of course. The only difference is that I'm down a tempo. Yeah, so maybe some kind of checks are, are good, but I've got my bishop here. Okay, queen d7, okay, but we exchanged that bishop. That bishop wasn't that important for me. What is really important for me is that bishop. Because as you can see, I will just try to create some kind of crazy attack on my opponent's king. Okay, castling of course. Now I feel more, more safe, and maybe now I will just bring my rook because I I've got the feeling that my opponent will try to counterplay, playing that move. Okay, and what can I do right now? I can take it here, but then uh, yeah, he takes at f6. I'm very afraid of that, of that move to be honest. Yeah, so that don't I don't like it. Uh, what is another option? Another option is to push it d4. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Bishop d4 and then what? Probably not that much. Or some crazy moves like queen g4. Uh, yeah, I'm not convinced to that d4 move. Uh, what is my... Okay, so this is not good. d4, yeah, looks looks better, but it's it's hard to calculate. Another idea is something like just simple queen f5. But he can still take it at the, at the f6. And this is what... Yeah, I'm really afraid of that. Okay, I've got also another another move candidate, which would be knight e4, and I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I'm just moving my knight into the good position. If he takes, I can take with a queen, and remember that in the end game I will have a pawn majority. I take control over the d file, and my pawn majority, I really believe in it. Uh, Kanji, queen g4. Yeah, maybe queen g4, but I was very afraid of bishop captures f6. And right now, take a look. I play rook d8, and I take control over that file, and my pawn majority is better than, than his. So I think that I have got slightly, very slightly better uh, endgame at the moment. Uh, Kaczyk, okay, about pawn majority. My pawn majority is better than my opponent because this is three against two pawns. And the less pawns, I mean, and here is four against three pawns. The less pawns, the fewer pawns, the easier you can create pass pawn because this is why you need your pawn majority to create a pass pawn. And another reason is because here on that side, we've got the kings. So even if he can create pass pawn, my king is very close. And if I if I can create pass pawn here, his my opponent's king is very is far away. Uh, 
Yeah, and the D file, I wouldn't say that, that D file is more important, because so what that I take control over the D file. Okay, I can go to D3, <laughs> but it's not, not that good. Okay, now what ideas uh, can, what ideas comes into my mind? Because I get the feeling that he plans, my opponent plans to play, okay, he offered me a draw, he's scared. <laughs> he plans to play, play that move, but I'm not afraid of it. But I have got f6 idea, and this is really good idea. Trying to, it restricts bishop. It restricts bishop at the b2. Now bishop is, is attacking the pawn. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Peter. Uh, yeah, improve improve the bishop. It's important, but I'm not afraid. I would I would I just need to say that I would be even happy if he plays b4, because uh, because you see we he he's just kind of he can help me to create pass pawn. But in every end game there are two most important things. One thing is a pass pawn, and another thing is king's activity. So I will just try to move my king into the center. Okay, king f1. Maybe, maybe my opponent is also standing. <laughs> okay, what can I do right now? Yeah, let's be let's be consistent. Yeah, knight d2 would be a, an idea, but my pawn after exchange at d2, my opponent c5 is hanging. So what, b6 or not b6, or just something like bishop a5. And now that idea can work. Okay, of course my opponent blocks it. What can I do at the moment? Maybe I should have tried to do something like that. Yes, C4. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's play this move maybe. This it was it was basically my plan. Ah, uh, okay, maybe 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 Kaczek, you're right. Bishop b6. But I think that then he he can do the same to me. Bishop c1 or something like that. But maybe maybe it was it was it was a good idea. Okay, a3. So what can I do after a3? Okay, you see, after c4, I'm a little bit afraid of the d4 square. So I will move my bishop. So now I defend here, and after c4, my bishop takes control over the d4 square. So two, two, two ideas in one. Okay, knight d2. So my opponent offers me a trade. And usually, usually, you, you know what is my... Uh, how do I feel when I see that I can exchange pieces? <laughs> Usually I'm very happy about it. I'm just thinking, is it the right thing to do at the moment? Because my knight and my rook is maybe better than, than his. But maybe if I take it, exchange, exchange everything, I would just go, yeah, maybe even c4 immediately. Yeah, and I, I can create pass pawn. But is it enough to win? I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Is it enough? But okay, I just I would rather consider an alternative for that. So maybe knight d6, then e4. Okay, you know what? Let's. I'm not sure. Can I win that? But let's 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 have a try. F3, he wants to play here. Good move. Ah, okay, and you see I cannot play F5. Okay, let's play C4. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Can I, can, can I win that endgame? You see, definitely I'm, I'm, I'm in a better position. My king is better. Okay, he plays he plays b4. And you can see that my bishop is, is much better than my opponent's bishop. Because as you can see, it's more pawns are on, on dark squares. So I just need to... Yeah, I want to take my pawns from dark squares. But to do that, I have to defend it here. 
So I will just move back and I want to play g6 and f5. And I've got the feeling that you will see that, that those pawns, the fact that they are on the on the on the dark squares is gonna decide about the game. You will you will see that very soon. Yeah, a5, but there is you see, I think that in English, I'm not sure, I'm not sure is there a saying in English, haste makes waste, or something like that at least. I can play a5, but there is no need, there is no rush for me. I can also try to offer him an exchange, bishop, and I can try to go to b2, because pawn endgame is should be win for me. Yeah, I just want to exchange bishops, because pawn endgame should be win, because I have got perfect supported pass pawn. E4, okay, E4. But what's the what's the what's the point? If I take, yeah, but I can just take it and Bishop F6. Is it win or not? Okay, Bishop D2. He was afraid, and I think that I can go here. I told you what I think about those pawns. I told you that. Bishop e3. He's hunting to my to my pawn, at my pawn there. Okay, but this is. Yeah, of course I can take it. Yeah, two pawns for only one pawn. <laughs> okay, my opponent resigned. I didn't expect that he's just going to resign that 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 early, but so see you can see. No, definitely, definitely my opponent. You see, when you play bishop's endgame, don't move pawns on the same color that your bishop is. You can see the difference. This is also this was also the reason why I played queen e6 and then g6 and f5. I wanted to set set up my pawns to uh, to the to on the on the light squares, right? Uh, yeah, king e5 also would be good idea, but I wanted to create two very strong pass pawns, and you can see that my opponent just just resigned, right? 